lovesick idiot of a brother has misled you. Oh, start from the start, mate. Recently, our trade introduced us to a formidable woman, Jing Lang, a pirate from the farther seas of the Orient. Intriguing. She and Vance quickly became inseparable. Any reason he should have thought your men were spies? Well, there is the treasure. Oh? A pirate sold us a map. We each kept half. Come, I will meet him now. If you follow with discretion, you may hear it for yourself. Follow me at a distance. If anyone sees you, tell them you are my bodyguard. There are thieves about who would stop at nothing to secure either half of the map. Good day, my brother. Good day, brother. If I may. Why? What else would you call this? Stranger? Perhaps. I barely knew you. And if the whispers around town are to be believed, you would have me gone and done away. Up to car. You know better than to give gossip. They're always too small. Local times turn over into sentimental comedy. It's domestic tragedy, I'm trying to decide. Well said, brother. No stronger bonds than family. Except business. Goodness knows we have more than enough of that between us as well. That is true, brother. That is very true. And what a business it is. I'm sure neither of us would ever do anything to upset the balance of things. What? What? Now tell me. You brought it. It? My half of the man? The man. The map. Of course, the map. The map to the treasure. To our legacy. That very one. I have mine. Where is yours? Vance, you know I feel we must protect that treasure with utmost caution. On the contrary. That map is our protection. Its treasure, our freedom. All the more reason to keep it buried. Safe. Well, have you no imagination? Can you not imagine the luxurious life that awaits us once we unearth its bounty? I really don't think it. The Travers estate and plantations. No more smuggling. No more organizing men. No shipments. No risk. Why not begin now? Advance. Are you sure your future will unfold so easily? What do you mean? What do you imply? I am not implying. I am merely asking. Do you really imagine G as the lady of the or should I not imagine it? You question her love, her fitness. Of course not. But knowing her as you do, you must appreciate that she is a woman of action. She needs the sea, the challenge. How will she adapt to acquire domestic life? Jing is none of your concern. Pence, do you intend to marry her? Of course. It pains me to tell you, but I do not believe she will consent to it. Oh. And what gives you such insight into her heart? In addition to her nature, I simply do not believe she is exactly what she says she is. You're jealous. Jealous? No. Yes! I only worry for your safety. You always had to be the favorite child, the golden boy. I can't stand it that she would give her heart to me, but she can't even give you a second glance. So, hater. I have no hate. Only concern. I'll tell you this. I'll kill you. I'll kill you if I must. I will have your half of the map. Then the world will see which brother has more honor. I'll bid you good day. until I have it. I'm taking care of it. Give me time. More time? Your loyalty makes you soft. I think you're not man enough to see it through. My flower. It is all but done. I'm tired of man. 
In moments, Upton's life will be over, and the map will be ours. You hired a man. In your scriptures, did Cain hire a man? No, Cain was a man. Come to the field, he said to Abel, and he did it himself. He did not require a third man to carry the axe. He did not have so many witnesses as we do in there, Saul. Trust me, he's doing it now. Right this moment? Nothing can save him now. I just saved your life, mate. Thanks. He said he would kill me. I thought it was bluster. He is my brother. Despite what you told me, I thought it meant something. You're safe for now. But perhaps a trip away from Nassau would do you some good. <laughs> 